hello everyone uh, how are you all i hope you are doing extremely good uh, so today let's solve this problem minimum moves to spread stones over the grid so let's understand the problem statement first uh, you have given zero index a 2d integer matrix of grid 3 into 3 this is fixed we have given 3 into 3 matrix as fixed matrix representing the number of stones in each cell in each cell we have certain amount of stones in one move, you can move a single stone from its current cell to any other cell if two cells share a side. If it is saying sharing a side, sharing a side means this, right? How many positions you can go if you are like this? And sorry, if you are at this position, how many positions you can go? Sharing the side means one, two, three, and four. If it is saying sharing the edge, sharing the edge means one. 2 3 4 and how many coordinates 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if it is saying edge then we should go for 8 uh, uh, 8 and if it is and if it is saying that it is a side then we have four possibilities 8 and 4 now we in this in this we have four and we need to return the minimum number of moves required to place one stone in each cell. We need to make, now uh, let's understand this with an example, let's with an input. We have this, our matrix and he has given all the values. At this position we have two. He is saying that total we are going to have nine stones and at some other cell we are going to have more than one stone, more than one stone. We need to take that stone and we need to place that stone in an empty cell. Now here we have two stones and we need to keep at this position. How many steps it going to take? One, two, three. So in this three will be my three will be my answer. And if you see this and if you observe this input, at this we have three stones and we have three stones and we have four cells which is empty. From here we can take two stones, right? Two. St From here we can take two stones and we can distribute over this. This can be distributed in the here and here. This can be distributed here and here. It's going to take four steps. I think you have understood it. Right? Uh, we should make total. We will give nine stones, and it's some it's some cell there will be more number of stones, and at some other cell there will be zero stones. We need to balance in such a way that the operations should be minimum. Operations should be minimum. Now, now suppose it is an let's see whether greedy gonna work it or not greedy. Uh, what I will do, I will take every position, every position, and suppose here 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. The cells which is empty, uh, not this, let's take, uh, oh, sorry, I need to add 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 3. Now, now suppose you are going for empty, empty cells, empty cells are, empty cells positions are 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2 and 2, 1 and we have extra cells, extra cells at uh, 0 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 we need to move in such a way that that should be minimum now if it is in 1 day grid suppose if it is in 1 day grid suppose we have this and we have uh, this is an empty and we have some extras extras over here what we can do we can sort it we can sort this both if we sort if we sort in empty we have different indexes and in extra we have indices and in extra we have some indices now we will take this and we will take this we will subtract this two and we will calculate minimum because in this uh, i will explain like if you are at this position and suppose for this position it is a minimum for this position it is a minimum coordinate and suppose you are at this position for this this is gonna be my minimum coordinate this is going to be minimum. If I calculating for this, then definitely at some other position, if there will be one coordinate over here, this should be matched to over here. So in this way, greed is going to work. 
when it is in one day dimension and we need to calculate the minimum but if it is 2d if it is 2d suppose i am saying i am at this position uh, i am at this position and we have two i have i have cell set this two indexes i have cell set this two indices and and i have a uh, at this this is an empty and this is an empty and i have the year value and i have one more coordinate here which is saying i have also i have value i have value suppose this value is taking over this empty this empty then this value can take this empty at this position it's fine right now we will get the minimum suppose suppose this value suppose this value is taking this empty and this mm -hmm. value should take this empty so it will be like more number of operations so this will be more number of operations in this way grading gonna not work grading gonna not work so here what we need to do we need to check every possible scenarios every possible scenarios every possible scenarios and we need to calculate i will show you the code like what exactly i have did so you can understand it in a better way and so i have taken a as an empty this is an empty and this in this p i am storing which is filled filled with more than uh, one cell more than a uh, one stot i am going to iterate and if v of i j equals to 0 i am pushing into the empty sorry uh, this is my empty b is my empty and this is my stones this is my stones then i am calculating x is equals to b dot says we need to uh, fill all the b's right and then we are taking visited then we are taking visited because for b if uh, if if you are iterating if you are iterating it if you are going iterating and we need to mark visited as 0 1 0 1 right that's why and that's why we are taking for b as visited answer equals to intermax and we are uh, sending a solve function in solve function we have sent with an index 0 i int i is equals to 0 and vector a b is visited and c is the number of counts number of counts and this is gonna be my answer and i have to declare answer over here and it is my intermax now let's i will iterate i will iterate to the empty cells i will iterate to the empty cells if my empty cell is one empty cell is one means this is already visited then i will say continue no uh, i will don't want to perform in operate then i will say i uh, i will gonna visit that then i will subtract this is like in uh, manhattan distance we can if he has given two coordinates then x minus y we can do so that if it's, it is it is saying that we are sharing a side then that's why man then distance can be applicable if it is stating that it is an edge then uh, then we need to go with some other approaches man attend so we are doing this man attend distance and we are sending this solve function i plus one i plus one uh, suppose we have this as one comma two as my e filled cell and and this one comma two as my empty cells first this one gonna take this one huh? then this two should definitely take this two and in the second scenario one two one two and one two this one will take this two then this two definitely should take this one that's what we are writing that's what we are writing j is equals zero j is equals to j plus plus first we are visiting and we are saying i plus one go to the go to the next index next index check which is not visited and take that index go to this and check which is not visited and take that index and we are taking visited j is equals to zero now this is my uh, first case and then we will making this as zero uh, this uh, we are making this as zero this we are making unvisited then one is going and taking this two this scenario one is going taking this two the, then we are making it is one and for this two we have opportunity for this so in this way we are checking every possible scenarios and if you all if you check this and if this c is equals to b dot c if my c we are incrementing incrementing if we are reaching all the empty cells empty all empty cells are filled then we are 
minimizing our answer and then we are returning it and i hope you understood this solution and thank you for watching if you like it please do subscribe to my channel